Hi everybody, welcome to another Elevate Tube Store Closing Elevate Tour. Let's take a look at the trusty Timex Ironman in 2020. We're standing out front of the Lauren Taylor store, Bridgewater Commons Bridgewater, New Jersey, which used to be Hain and Company. And unfortunately, due to a huge retail recipe of disaster, which includes bad leadership and mismanagement between May Company, Hudson Bay, and Lito Ted, before adding the coronavirus pandemic in spring 2020. This location is closing by the end of this year, along with the rest of the Lauren Taylor division. So you know what we're going to do? That's right, we're going to do a store closing LA tour of the store. And this is going to be the final Lauren Taylor store I'll ever get to before the chain becomes defunct. I'm glad I got the other Lauren Taylor locations in central New Jersey and the metro Philadelphia area. And there's also another Lauren Taylor store, which used to be Hain and Company. That's located in Westfield, New Jersey. I don't have time to go there, unfortunately, because it's because it's kind of a long drive from the Metro Philadelphia area. And Chris Carton already did a, a full store tour of this, so you'll see that in the description below. With that being said, guess what time is everybody? That's right, it's store closing elevate tour time. There's Diesel Lucy. Before we start the tour, here's a view of the lower level mall entrance. I know this tour is going to be very long because it's three floors, but there are some Lauren Taylor logos inside the store I, I wanted to find before I missed my chance. So without further ado, let's head inside and begin the tour. This is inside the lower level sales floor. If you look to your right, you can see where the rugs are. And to your left is the men's floor where you can save 50%. And some men's, men's dressers, these, these cost 60% off. Now this department right here is where the men's fragrances are before they're currently empty. But you can save 60% off ties. And yes, there are some home items. You got 50% off kitchen, textiles and 50% off cutlery in fact all the all the home items are 50% off you got some pots and pans mattress pads and covers bath rugs and some bedding I thought Lauren Taylor, uh, but yeah, at first I thought Lauren Taylor was is not, is only a fashion company, but when I looked through the home for um, home items, I I know that this there are a few items. Um, so Lauren Taylor, I, I assume is 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 a lot like Macy's because you got because most of them are fashions, while the while one of the sections are are where the home furnishings are. And you can save 70% off suit separates and 60% off men's trousers. That's just the emergency exit, by the way. And you can save 70% off men's suits. And 50% off men's shoes. And that door right here goes to the stock room. They're the escalators, but we'll get to that those in a, in a minute. And you can also save fifty percent off men's loungewear. And this department right here is where the children's are. You could say 50% off girls' clothing and 50 per, and I assume the boys' apparel are 50% off. 
Now back here is where the executive offices are. We gotta get that too. There we go. And I think this is another entrance to the stock room too. Wow, got some girls' jackets on this section too. I believe this is for infants. Here's another door to the stock room. That I believe that's where the. Nope, the other side is the, is where the the service elevator is, but. I'm not going to go there because I don't want to trespass. It, it is a Westinghouse with type uh, with 1980s Epco circling. <laughs> you could say 50% off children's shoes, and you even have some children's toys in this section. Over here is where the intimate apparel is. And over here is the elevator. There's the machine room. And look how close the, the elevator is to the entrance to the elevator lobby. It's kind of a short walk from, from there. In fact, all the intimate apparels are are fifty percent off. And here's one of the fitting rooms. I think I've already showed you, but that those are men's sportswear, and you can say fifty percent off men's active wear. Can I help you with anything? No, thanks. All right, and that is it for the for this level. Before we actually go upstairs, I'm going to show you the exterior entrance to the to the lower level. All right, so here's the lower level parking lot facing Lauren Taylor. And the sun's in a picture, so there's not much to look at. This highway um, we're looking at, I think that's US 202, US 206, something like that. Anyway, here is a, a view of the exterior entrance to Lauren Taylor. And if you go around the corner here, you can see where the loaning dock to the store is. And you can see where that hill is because on the top of the hill is where the, where the first floor is. And over here is the Macy store. I'm not going to document that store because it's definitely going to stay after Lauren Taylor closes. But right now, we're going to go back inside and go upstairs on the up escalator. I'm glad I got some still photos of both Lauren Tier logos too. hot here. And now we are back inside the store and I'll tell you what it's a long walk to the escalator so we're going to speed this up just a little bit. 
Hi, I'm Julie Clark, founder of the Baby Einstein Company. For more information about our developmental programs, visit our website at www.babyeinstein.com. Enjoy the show. All right, here we are. Over here you have 2012 Kone Escalators. Actually, actually this used to be Westinghouse from 1988 before, before Kone replaced them in 2007 when the mall was refurbished. Also, one thing very interesting, the top escalators are not lined up with, with, the, es with the bottom escalators. That's very unusual. Anyway, here we are at the first floor. And over here is the fashion jewelry. I'm not going to go through because there's a manager walking around the store. I don't want to get get busted by him. And you got some more household items too. I wonder what department that is. Oh, it's lady suits. You can save 50% of those. And you can save fifty percent of lady shoes. And over here is the elevator on this level. Obviously, this button has has been um, has been um, has been used a lot, but the down button hasn't. I miss using the wire fountains. It's the same they turned them off because of the, the coronavirus pandemic. These are all ladies shoes, so I'm not going to go back here. And you can save 50% of ladies clearance. 50% ladies sportswear. Here's, an here's another fitting room. And here's one of the service desks. And you got some cutlery, just like on the on the floor downstairs, and some towels, housewares, bakeware, and some silverware. So that must be why the whole store is fifty to seventy percent off. Here's some more lady sportswear. J. Crew. Oh, I see why. Because J. Uh, Lauren Taylor probably sports J. Crew. And you got some Lancome cosmetics. I wonder where the Michael Kors fashion accessories are. And if you look straight ahead, you can see the Apple Store. That's where I got my. That's where I recently got my laptop fixed. And this is the mall entrance. And this is the first floor mall entrance to this store. And if you look to your right, you could see where the dresses are. Actually, they're not. They're late. These are all ladies' sportswear. And you got some Clinique cosmetics. And some ladies' jeans. And yes, yeah, I discovered this and the this level and the upper level are for women's. The the floor downstairs are for men and kids. Like I said earlier, the men's fragrances are located downstairs, but I've already showed you that. He got some holiday quilts. Here's the handbags. And you could save 50% off every handbag. And and we are now back at the ladies' shoes, which means we've got the, the whole first floor covered. 
So there is one more level we got to look at, and that's the second floor. And you can say 40% giftables, too. One other difference I forgot to point out is that the top escalators have no name. I think they're either Schindler or ThyssenKrupp, but I'm not sure yet. And since this used to be a Hayden company, it does not have a 1990s Lauren Taylor chandelier. There's the down escalator. And here we are on the second floor. Over here are some embossed throw pillows. And you can say 50% off dresses. And straight ahead is where the petite apparel was. Now we'll get a brief look at the elder lobby on the second floor. Because I'm gonna because there's one thing I um I found something weird. This elevator used to be a Westinghouse with 1980s Epco circline fixtures, but look at this. That's right, the faceplate is kept and the call button has has been was only replaced. So you can tell that this was a very um you can tell that this was a Westinghouse beforehand. Are you going down? Yeah. Okay. And since some passengers are getting on, let's watch the indicator. And here it is. Gotta talk over the music. Yeah. Wayne, your turn? Yeah. And let's see if, if this elder is gonna go nuts mode. There it goes. And the number changes. I believe it's gonna go, I believe it's gonna stop at the first floor. Let's see if I'm right. WMG WG talk 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 talk. Yep, I was right. This elevator stopped on the first floor. That's where they're going. Anyway, let's let's continue on with our, on with our tour. Over here we have some women's plus sizes. You, and you can also save 50% off. Again, here's the service elevator. But I do not want to ride it because I risk getting harassed by uh, every Lauren Taylor employee. You can save 50% off plus clearance sizes. And this section is, um, is also for women's plus sizes. And you can save 70% off ladies swimwear. And here's the late, uh, and here's the men's lounge. Wonder where the ladies lounge is. And you can say 50% off ladies' outerwear. And you can say 50% off contemporary classics. Now right here is the contemporary departments. And you got some ladies tops on this section. And over here, you can get a nice view of the, ep uh, of the second floor mall entrance. So yeah, on all, on all the Lauren Taylor stores that I've been to, I'd say this one's my absolute favorite because it's three floors and you don't see a lot of three-story three anchor stores very often. And 
have occupied 18 and a half minutes of this of this clip, so that that must be why there's a lot to explore. Over here is the active wear department. I believe that's ladies' active wear. And yes, this this section is is for contemporary apparel. And you got some apparel from Lucky Brand because Lauren Taylor also supports Lucky Brand. All right, so now with that, we've seen the whole store. We're going to go back down the escalator to the basement and get a final ride. And as I discovered, the ladies' lounge is right here near the elevator. Back down the first floor, we gotta go down one more floor, and then we will get the final ride on the on the elevator. Again, you got Kone escalators from 2007. Well, the well the escalators on the higher levels are either similar or ThyssenKrupp. Here in the basement. And now this will be everybody's favorite part of the tour. That's right, we're gonna do our final ride on the 1991 Schindler Elevator. And here we are back at the elevator. All right, guys, I looked to see how much battery I have left on my Canon PowerShot 82300, and it says I have two out of three bars of battery left, so that's a good deal. Again, here's the other machine room. And yeah, I'm very gonna, I'm really gonna miss the elevator a lot. We're gonna take this up to two, and we'll listen to hydraulics. Here too. Which floor are you going to? Uh, middle. Now I'll go back down to the basement, but first we're going to let the pasture off at, at the first floor. I'm very sad to see you close the store. When is the last day? We don't have a date yet. Okay. Here you go, you have a nice day. seconds. That's how, that's how many seconds it takes for it to level. Go for one last ride. This time we'll start the motor with doors closed. Listen to hydraulics. Oh, someone already called it. That's okay. I guess we can take three round trips. And we are stopping in one, pick someone up. Going up? Yes. Which floor? Actually, I like to call these floors basement one and two because the middle and upper levels um, have access to Bloomy Deals, the lower level doesn't. Yeah, that is true. Can we hear two? I got a door for you.
one last ride. This time we'll start the motor with doors closed and hopefully no one calls it this time. Here we go, let's listen. a very nice motor. All right, now going down, we'll get a final look at the silver because what because after the store closes, it will be no longer accessible. Boy, I'm really going to miss the silver a lot. It's got a very high ceiling and pink cap walls. And the interior doors are painted pink too. Cuter B Here's your Janice phone. Again, final look at these beautiful RT fixtures. This used to be Westinghouse with 1980s Epco Circline fixtures, by the way. And now we're going to go up to the first floor and walk out here for the final time. Here one. At this point, we will watch the doors close for the final time. Again, farewell and goodbye, Schindler 1991 to 2020. And there it goes. Now this is the ladies' shoes department we're walking out to, and then we're going to walk out the door. Oh, I forgot to show you this, but straight ahead is the, where the, the ladies' restroom is. And if you look to your right, you can see the, the family restroom. And now we will exit the store, and you will see the middle level parking lot. And now we are back outside, and if you look straight ahead, you could see you could see Stearns, which opened in 1988, along with the mall, and then it closed in 2001. But due to but due to the already existing Macy's, it was kept, and um, and Bloomingdale's uh, opened in 2002. I'm obviously not going to document that store because it's definitely going to stay. But but at this point, we will end our tour right here by taking a look at the exterior entrance on the first floor. I love this architecture. By the way, YouTube user Chris Cronin pointed out that in one of the Q&A live streams that there should be a Saxon Avenue in the former Lawrence Theater space. Because um, once that once the Saxon Avenue location, uh, location opens, the mall should be good to go. And in fact, it's a very nice upscale mall where they have Bloomingdale's, Saxon Avenue, and Macy's all in one roof. Over here, you can see the other side of the hill, which behind that hill is the is the basement. So, with that being said, I guess that brings us to the end of the tour. And I did mention that this is going to be the final Lauren Taylor store I'll ever get to tour. So rest in peace to Lauren Taylor, 1826 to 2020, and also Lauren Taylor Bridgewater, 1991 to 2020. For all the Lauren Taylor employees that, that work here and all the other lo locations, I wish the absolute best of luck of finding a new job. I know it's going to be tough, but, but please make sure to get your cover layers ready and update your resumes, and hopefully you'll be able to be back on your feet very soon. And for those of you, um, the YouTube audience watching this, if you're ever in Bridgewater, New Jersey and you need to run some errands, I have to say, the Bridgewater Commons is a very great shopping mall for you. With that being said, I really hope you enjoy the tour. Please let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching as always, and that will be it.
video is over. But it doesn't have to be. You can always watch more and you know what to do. Click the buttons. And don't forget to subscribe and like that bell. Until next time, bye y'all.